Come have some fun and watch some games. Time to get crazy. It's night and day. Yeah. Drink it. All right. So here's the deal. All right. Have some. Here you can you can pour on. Okay. Go nuts. Thank you. You shouldn't have. All right, so Travis is trying out some new hand sanitizer. Okay. And I wonder. <laughs> I never knew this was content that we needed. <laughs> I think actually, <laughs> this is the sort of thing that people like flock to. Oh yeah, reason. yeah, for some reason. Today we tried out a new food. Yeah. Or this week we tried out a new diet for this amount of time. Yeah. This is what happened. It was pretty predictable. Yeah. <laughs> this has also been... If you do, no, we didn't the, invent it, so it's been tried by right. thousands and thousands of people. Anyway. If we do the minimum amount of research, we could get the, uh, the same results. So what do you think of that smell? What the... Is this? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Doesn't it seem weird? It smells so weird. It's not real... Like, it's not regular hand sanitizer. Right. Except it is. It's the same damn... <laughs> It's still Equate. It's yeah. the same brand as the green thing. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Except it's like, what is it? It's, it's why does it smell like... <laughs> it, it smells like a very weird, like, gummy... <laughs> like a like, dentist like, office or something. Kind of, yeah, I could see that, actually, <laughs> yeah. But I'm getting, like, gummy candy. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. With, like, yeah. with industrial cleaners in it. <laughs> Pipe cleaners too. Like uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> don't you don't eat those? <laughs> but, and it's it's sticky. It's like a little sticky. Why is it sticky? What did you put in here? <laughs> I put a bird in there. <laughs> <laughs> a bird. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. It turns you out you melted birds, a bird. <laughs> birds need oxygen, so it just drowned. <laughs> And you know, I was thinking there were just cameras for the government. <laughs> and now my hands are not going to stop smelling like this. I could give you a big bottle to take to the dinner thing and be like, here you go, Grandma. Yeah. Just start doling it out. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody needs some of this. <laughs> it's the equivalent of like ones at the strip club thing that people do. <laughs> just... Why do we all smell like makeup remover? Yeah. It smells like you used, I don't know, the peach rings to remove your makeup. That's exactly what that smells like. Peach rings? Yeah, the peach rings. Like what the, is a peach the candy? Ring? I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, it's just a, it's like a, a gummy circle oh. that has a yellow and peach like colors. It's supposed to taste like peaches and it has like salt on it. It's a weird... Those two statements don't usually go together. It has that sugary, like, ah, salty like a, whatever thing. Just like the salty peach that I'm used to. That I'm used to. <laughs> that's like... Uh, that's like farmers in Georgia that hate their jaw. It's salty peaches. <laughs> they just... They that's just, the name of this whole farm. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Salty. They're just like upset whenever, like how they do tours of farms. Yeah. Here. They're just like, like, why are you here? <laughs> Welcome to Gary's Salty Peaches. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever invited to a place named Gary's Salty Peaches, never go. That is <laughs> rule number one of adulthood. <laughs> never go to Gary's Salty Peach Land. <laughs> You had a different oh, uh, coming of age situation. Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is the all right. So yeah, Gary's all peaches. It just that's like what the the farm is named now. Oh the, god, the, 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 the marquee or whatever the billboard that they have outside. Yeah, because the farms for whatever reason they still have those like wooden the, yeah the ways. paneling and whatever yeah. on there. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, Gary's salty peaches because he he's just that farmer who was so pissed at the mass industri industrialization of right. farming, right. where because of Walmart and yeah. everything in the world, like only machines can do it now, and like, like the you know how they have that on every show, right? Or not right. every show, but a lot of shows will have that where they interact with the people on the farm and the, they're always super upset because mm -hmm. their industry is no longer pure. And right, right, yeah. So he's he's super 
pissed off. He was he's the one holdout, Gary. Or he, he's like his dad was the one holdout. And now he's he's taking the up torch. the mantle. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't even like farming as a kid. He wanted to get away from it. But after his dad like suffered so much unjust treatment at the hands of these guys, right, right, at the hands of the industry and the man and the suits all this. Ah, right. <laughs> now Gary who still hates peaches and never liked farming right. is riding his farm as hard as he can and he hates every minute of his life of every day just for like by. the justice of his father yeah. he continues going yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he hates everything <laughs> I'm just <laughs> picturing like the, how like farm farms always have like their mascot or whatever it's just like this really burly like dude with like a lumberjack like the um the shirt and the beard and everything and he's just Holding two peaches, like massive peaches, <laughs> like like this. I thought you were going lower. Yeah, I mean, like that's this. pretty much what I was thinking. The balls. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. But they're just salty and just. <laughs> yeah, his, his slogan for his farm is "Ain't that a kick in the peach?" <laughs> <laughs> Don't die, Travis. Oh man, that's great. <laughs> His slogan is, do my peaches taste salty to you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the... <laughs> I thought the mascot was going to be just like this this giant peach. Yeah. With like... It's an anthropomorphic peach, so it's got a face on it and all. Obviously. And it's just like, yeah. It doesn't have to be full body anthropomorphic. It just has to but have it's, face. Yeah, it's a yeah. human face peach car- cartoon character. Right, and it, right. It's just crying. Gary's salty peaches. <laughs> That's it. I, I, I can't get away from the whole, the balls thing now. The giant balls. Yeah, the giant balls. So now, when you said that, I'm just picturing exactly what you said, but with balls. Like, oh. Yeah. Okay, so it's the face. Yeah. And then it's like a picture of like a big industrial, industrial capitalist right, guy. Right, yeah. Like dressed in a nice suit and all right, this. Right, and yeah. he's kicking the peach in the balls. Yeah. And that's why he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you wouldn't support Gary <laughs> with that, then I don't know why you're spending your money. <laughs> like that is a hundred percent what sh- what you should be backing. And that's why Gary is so pissed because nobody is backing it. Yeah. People just keep people keep ordering their peaches on Amazon. Yeah, like they, monsters. exactly. They yeah. just keep going to the the big yeah the man big business. To, yeah, yeah. They don't care if the small businesses all die and the tr- farmers get trampled because Amazon has. Whatever, same day delivery or yeah, oh, they're two not day so delivery. salty peaches. Yeah. yeah, on regular peaches. <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know. I don't know. Really like standing up. Peaches. Yeah, or like standing up to this like peach overlord that exists. <laughs> <laughs> There's the peach- like this whole like world. This like dark world that <laughs> runs these peaches like peach farms into the ground. <laughs> dark world peach overlord <laughs> sounds like an awesome band name. It does sound so good. Dark. Dark World Peach Overlord. <laughs> or even just Dark Peach Overlord. Yeah. <laughs> sounds great. I, I would buy an album. Or at least I'd their, definitely check out their music. Their first album should be named Peach Fuzz. Kind of kind of good, but also flies in the face of the Dark Overlord. Yeah, thing. I mean, I, you can, it's either, I think you got to go one of two ways. I don't know how you blend the two into the, the album name. Unless it's just well, death by peach fuzz. Death, death by peach fuzz. Yeah. <laughs> that's even weirder, but that's so great. <laughs> death by peach. Fuzz. Like, how would that work? Like, logistically speaking. <laughs> like, oh well, you just shave enough peach fuzz off of enough different people, and then you get a mass of it and choke somebody to death with it. And you're, you're good. So you just shove it in somebody's mouth. You essentially like make a peach fuzz pillow and just like smother yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Or just a peach fuzz hairball. Shove it down in there, <laughs> and the person dies. It's so easy to, to kill a human being. <laughs> there are many ways to kill humans. Yeah, it yeah. is sad that we are a vulnerable entity. Yeah, we. I mean, if you can't survive peach fuzz, then how do we make it this far? <laughs> it's an epidemic, really. <laughs> if you can't peach them, join them. <laughs> All right, we got to stop. Yeah, yeah. If we don't stop soon, we're going to be impeached. <laughs> oh, God. Rattle! Oh, my God. That was great. <laughs>